More and more people today are questioning eating lots of animal products and are moving towards eating more plant foods. And I feel like this shift has really become evident in the last few years. Maybe you have friends who've become vegan or somebody you know has adopted a plant-based diet or somebody else is a whole food plant-based person. There's so many terms out there right now and I think a lot of times people get confused. Actually what prompted me to make this video was a comment that I got from one of you saying, isn't whole food plant-based the same as being vegan? And it's not. So in this video, I wanna clarify what these things mean and what the difference is between them. A plant-based diet is a diet that consists of primarily plant foods. Now, some people might completely eliminate all animal products and be 100% plant foods, and some people might keep about 90% of their diet plant foods and have about 10% animal products in their foods. Now, if we're talking about a whole food plant-based diet, then you're consuming predominantly plant foods coming from whole unprocessed sources or minimally processed sources that are plant foods, but that can still be 10% animal foods or it can be 100% plant foods. A vegan diet completely eliminates all animal foods. And there's many variations on what a vegan diet can be. The term vegan was coined in 1944 by Donald Watson, and that was the exclusion of all animal products in the diet. And that describes someone who fully abstains from animal products for ethical reasons as well as what they eat. That being said, that would be eliminating all animal products 100% of the time. So over time, people have adopted a vegan diet because of ethics, because of the environment because of animal welfare, but it can encompass so much more. The reason that I went vegan over 12 years ago was for my health, for the animal welfare, for the environment, and I just really felt very strongly about doing this. And that's not always gonna be the case with everybody. evolved even further with vegan culture and can include people who are anti-natalists. And they adhere to the philosophy that human beings are a destructive force to animals and to the earth, and therefore it's morally wrong to create more of them or bring children into this world to clean up the mess that we are leaving. This anti-natalist and child-free community um, sect of veganism is really growing, I've noticed, among younger vegans these days. But just to clarify, I personally don't agree with that, and I know I'm gonna get some flack from somebody out there, and that's okay. Everybody's allowed to have their own choice, but I believe children are a gift from God and make our lives so much more blessed and sweet when we have them around. Okay, so now let's talk about a plant-based diet. This is kind of divorced away from the ethics of veganism. Veganism is very ethically centered, and I choose to be vegan because of the ethics, but I also choose to be whole food plant-based because I believe it's a healthier option. The term actually originated from more of a scientific kind of place, with people like T. Colin Campbell really pioneering what it meant to be plant-based and doing studies like the China study in the 1980s to really see that eating a fully plant-based or predominantly plant-based diet really has major positive effects on our overall health. So plant-based means it's divorced from that ethical connotation of vegan, and it also may mean having animal products on occasion. When we're talking about the health connotations of eating a plant-based diet, they say about 10%, a small amount in the daily diet of those people who live in the blue zones, which are the places around the world where people live the longest, um, has made an inconsequential difference in their overall health. That important nuance is not really captured in the term vegetarian or vegan. So then, what is a whole food plant-based diet? Now, if you wanna know how to start a whole food plant-based diet, I've got a video down in the description below that goes way into depth about this. I believe this is the best diet that we can be on. But this, like I mentioned before, is centered on unrefined, minimally processed whole plant foods. It minimizes or totally excludes meat, eggs, dairy, highly refined foods like bleached flour or refined sugar, as well as oil. This means a person on a whole food plant-based diet will eat primarily fruits, vegetables, non-starchy vegetables, leafy green vegetables, whole grains, beans, legumes, as well as tubers and potatoes and things like that. Now, the emphasis in a whole food plant-based diet obviously is to eat these whole foods and kind of steer away from the processed vegan foods that are more readily available today. So, for example, 
you could be vegan, but you could be a completely junk food vegan because there's so many options out there of packaged vegan food. Vegan doesn't necessarily mean it's healthy. And the tricky thing is that nowadays, because there's so many of these products, these vegan junk food or vegan processed foods out there, a lot of the labeling now says plant-based. And yeah, technically, what is made into this processed thing that you're eating was maybe once a plant, but it's been stripped of all the nutrients and the fiber, so it's really not even a healthy thing. Is it still vegan? Sure. Is it whole food plant-based? Definitely not. So you might be asking, can you be vegan and whole food plant-based at the same time? And the answer is a resounding yes. That is exactly what I am. I'm vegan for the animals, for the environment, for the ethical reasons of it, but I am whole food plant-based for the dramatic overall health and wellness, as well as it's a wonderful way to lose weight and maintain a weight that is healthy for you. Hey, if you enjoyed the content on Vegan Michelle and you are ready to take your health or weight loss to the next level, I encourage you to come work with me one-on-one. -on -one. My passion is working with weight loss clients, but I work with all kinds of clients. So if you're interested, head over to veganmichelle.com to get you on your best path to health. And now let's get back to the video. I've even talked to a lot of you guys who have been vegan for a long time, but you haven't felt healthy and you've adopted a whole food plant-based diet. And now you are vegan and whole food plant-based and you're feeling so much better. Energy levels skyrocketing, weight coming off. You know, it's not a magic pill. It, it does take work and it does take figuring out, but eating a whole food plant-based diet is something that is really going to benefit you in so many different ways. So those are the differences between a vegan diet, between a plant-based diet and a whole food plant-based diet. So I hope that clears up any misconceptions that you might have. If you have any questions about a specific food, if you're like, is this vegan? Is it plant-based? Is it processed? Is it not processed? Leave it down below. Let's talk. I love talking about this subject. So I hope that you guys got some insight in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me know what you guys want to see as well as subscribe to my channel because I've got a lot more videos coming out. Make sure you take a look at my website. I've got a ton of free, oil-free recipes there that are whole food, plant-based, or minimally processed that you guys can check out. Pick up a copy of my free ebook, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching.